It's a beautiful day, guys. There's actual blue sky today, which is magnificent because it has been absolutely disgusting. Anyway, came out here to check out my pets. Wait. Where's my... Where's my chickens? <laughs> There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Each one better than the last. Shooting Churchill as of usual. Um, you know, as per usual, I mean. And it's an absolutely gorgeous day to do it. This is a, a lucky occasion for us, that's for sure. Anyway, um, since I you know, had that car ordeal that you guys saw on Daily Milk, I believe it was seven, I've been taking a Chinese version of Uber. And I think it's kind of funny because China actually banned Uber, like the Western app, and then created their own domestic one. Right now they're like cracking down on that as well for some reason. I think there's, you know, people that are not licensing it properly or scamming people or whatnot. Just walking by a, a kid and his mom. The kid is probably like 12 years old. He goes, look, a foreigner. Hit him. Hit him. I don't know where that came from. It's kind of uh, interesting education his parents have given him. That's nice, guys. Oh, I think this is my man. I think this is my guy. Yeah. What's the Mexico? Yeah. 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 这个滴滴搭车能赚钱吗? 不好赚一天大概赚多少钱? 不一定的我也没有说实验天做昨天接了二十三单做了流水就做了四百多块钱四百多啊 <laughs> Yo, Winston, I heard you had a, quite a hectic drive up here. Certainly did. There was a lot of police. I went through three roadblocks where they were basically taking unlicensed cars off the road, loading them up on big trucks, and they were targeting like old Jettas and Santanas and you know any car that looks like it's more than like 20 years old. They were taking them off the road, checking papers, and they had like a whole bunch loaded on trucks. Do you think the Audi 6 mobile might be in danger? Only if you drive near a first tier city like Guangzhou or Shenzhen, otherwise you'll be okay. Okay. You're going to Japan and I'm very jealous. Yeah, first time I've been looking forward to this for years and years and years. So I can't wait to share my experiences with well, you and everyone else out there on YouTube. Do you think it's going to be like, what do you think the, the main difference is as soon as you get off the plane that you're going to notice from China? I think cleanliness, social etiquette, you know, that's probably the first thing that'll hit me. Right. Yeah, basically. Cool. It's gonna be awesome. I, I can't, can't wait. I can't wait to see the vids. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Cool. Hey Winston, where where do we where do we what do we find here? We found the uh, oh, oh, sorry. We found the Happy Valley. Yeah, oh, no, Happy Valley. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's Mario Kart. It is! Yeah. With like a blonde girl. Mario Kart with a blonde girl, yeah. Welcome! What does that say in Chinese? That says Old Joe. Uh, you're a little, uh, uh, okay. So Happy Valley, basically. Happy uh, but Valley. It's, I mean, it means European Happy Valley. Right. Yeah, so. Very European looking. Yeah. Frazzy, what'd you do to your car? Yeah. Now this is like one of the consequences of driving to China. Buddy flipped this car over. And you can see how strong the frame is. If you're the passenger, you you might have survived. Yeah. I think I'd like to think. So. You know, it's sad. This is in front of a repair shop, so they're actually gonna try to like fix this car. I've seen them fix worse. Yeah, it's Volkswagen. Yep. Pro tip, Brazil will back me up here. Never order Western food in China. It's the worst shit in the whole world. <laughs> okay, thank you.
Thank you. Yep, thank you. You're like some of the worst that I've ever had, and she's like, <laughs> speak it English. She likes some water. It is.